Mohamed Musa lost his eyesight when he was five years old due to a congenital condition. His brother Nur Musa was born deaf. But it didn't stop them from communicating with each other through a unique sign language they developed. And all these years later, they run a bakery together in their Balut village in the Occupy West Bank. God bless our father who established this business for us. My father worked in several bakeries and learned to make bread in the past. My father taught me and my brother how to work here. And because I grew up and was raised by my brother, we can understand each other. And if sometimes I don't understand him, he holds my hand in a way that I understand what he wants. Their customers are mostly Palestinians working in Israel. But due to COVID-19 restrictions, some of the workers have had to stay in Israel, meaning the Brothers Bakery has lost almost 50% in sales. Despite their disabilities, the Musa brothers are two of the lucky ones in Palestine able to live without financial help from the Palestinian Authority. But many are not so fortunate. According to the Central Bureau of Statistics, there are approximately 93,000 people with disabilities living in the Occupy West Bank and the Gaza Strip. The Palestinian Authority provides financial support to many of them despite the additional economic distress caused by COVID-19. The World Bank says the Palestinian economy is expected to shrink around 11 percent this year and it's the Ministry of Social Development responsible for providing aid to those suffering disabilities. But it's been hamstrung during the pandemic. Before the corona pandemic, the Ministry of Social Development used to provide four payments to the needy people within the cash transfer program. But due to the corona pandemic and the financial blockade and the failure to receive tax refund from Israel, the Palestinian government has only been able to pay two payments for now. Currently, we are trying to arrange the third payment during this month. The Musa brothers are hoping to expand their business. But like so many, will have to postpone their plans until the COVID-19 pandemic is finally under control. Mustafa Fatih, OCR2 World, Occupied West Bank.